Oh, oh it's gone warm now. So you what, this weather's improved. Last few days it's not been very nice. Uh, well, yeah, it's nice now the sun's out, the sky is blue. So I've uh, been sat on the couch all day today watching other people on YouTube. And uh, kind of looking at gear because I want, I want um, thinking about getting a new camera. So obviously I've been doing a lot of reviews on the camera that I'm looking at. And then the sun's come out and I'm watching other people going, oh, it's fantastic here, you've got to get out and enjoy the landscape. And I thought, do you know what? Yeah, I'm doing that. It's getting warm. Whew, it's warm. I'm heading up on the roaches because it's fairly local to me. Sunset is at half past eight, so I've got three hours. As well, also, it's August now, so we're getting towards the end of August. So it's um, Peak District has a lot of heather. And at this time of year, end of August, beginning of September, all the heather comes out and you get all the lovely purples. And there's some cloud in the sky at the moment, so if I can have a combination of the cloud, obviously, in the sky, because I hate clear blue sky, but it's looking okay at the moment. Hopefully, it'll make a nice image. Whether it'll be a keeper, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going out to enjoy in, enjoy the, the local scenery. And if I get a good shot, great. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. You can't get a good shot every time you go out, but at least go out and try. And uh, I'll make my way up there now, and I'll see you in a bit. Uh, up on the roaches now specifically Ramshaw rocks it's a little bit windy up here so I'm hoping the um, the audios are okay I've got my little uh, lavalier on with my little windscreen so should be all right but yeah it's, it is wind it is a little bit windy probably see on the grass behind me but take me out if you'll see it's windy because my hair's blowing all over can you see it but uh, <laughs> um, as I say it's close to Rome I hadn't planned it, I just decided I got bored sitting on the couch watching other people on YouTube. Thought I'll have a bash myself, so somewhere local, nice place, the roaches, all the peak districts nice. Um, about a 25 minute drive and I'm here. So yeah, I thought a couple of hours, nice evening, about out of breath, <laughs> because I don't get out enough. The light at the moment, I mean it's now, if I see it on my face there, quite strong, it's now Quarter to seven, half eight's the um, sunset time. Most of the heather's on, if I can't see now because of the sun, but most of the heather's on that side. And uh, the sun's on that side now, so sunset time, it's hitting all the heather. So there's a path here that leads up there, bit of heather left and right. And obviously you've got the uh, rocks in the background. That's a, I have shot that one before, sort of a portrait. Not that use the sort of path as a lead in. And obviously you turn around, you've also got the rocks there. So this is what I've come up for. The heather. Sort of end of August now, coming towards it. It's now August the 17th, so it's not quite there. I think it's got to go a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, I'm not an expert. But um, yeah, some heather. They're very nice. So I'm hoping to capture a bit of light on that. Pick up the colour of the heather. There's obviously the rocks in the background. And we have got a bit of cloud in the sky. 
hopefully my face is not overexposed when I'm turning around, but we've got a bit of cloud in the sky. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking a couple of shots. I'm really a coastal shooter and that's what I love. Um, because at the coast you can really isolate your subject a, a lot of the time, jetties, uh, boats, uh, piers, lighthouses, etc, etc. And usually you can isolate those in the water, you know, along exposures. And I, I just love the ethereal effect you get from that. Uh, they're all a little bit cluttered for me, this, and I don't like the colour green. I have a problem with the colour green, so the two things together it makes it a bit difficult for me, but I'll try. Oops, I'm enjoying the walk, and that's what matters the most to me right now because sitting on the couch just rotting away is no good. So, so it's good to get out and about in it now and again, get a bit of fresh air. So, the light's going down now, the, the colour of the light is, is sort of it's getting warmer now uh, as the sun goes lower. So, I've just sort of climbed on it. Unfortunately, I've had to climb over the heather a bit, which is not good because I don't want to knacker the heather up. But I found the composition I quite like. Uh, spin it round. So, I've got this rock in the foreground. There's a little tree up there, quite like, and I've got it in sort of portrait mode. And I'm sort of got it camera in portrait, and I'm doing a pano round like that. So, it's about there to about the tree. Uh, and I've got this in the foreground, quite like it. Um, don't know, it'll turn about. I've got the ISO up quite high because I'm trying to freeze the heather because it's quite windy, and uh, yeah, it's quite windy, so it's blowing it all over the place. But uh, yeah, I've got a little shot there. Um, one, two, three. It's like a four, four shot pano, and I've bracketed each one of those as well. So there's three shots in every one. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Twelve shots all together, and Lightroom is so easy now. You just basically photo merge HDR for your bracket and then when it's done when it's rendered that you then just merge the four HDR images into a panorama and uh, we'll see the result of that in a minute and see what you think of that one. Light is starting to get really nice up here. It's very windy, so obviously grass is blowing everywhere. I'm having to do quite a fast shot of speed and I'm bracketing as well. Like I say, hopefully the wind's not affecting the audio too much. But basically, we're just split round here. So uh, you can see that. You can't really see, can you? But then I'm taking a shot like a pano vertical and I'm starting there and I'm going all the way round. Sort of, so you can see it. I'm doing like a pano vertical there there, there, sort of round to there. Not quite going into the sun, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I hope it turns out all right, because I haven't really captured much. Struggling, as I've said. There's a tree over there, actually, just between these rocks here, with that sky behind it. I'm gonna stick the long uh, 55 200 on and sort of pick that out, I think. Maybe have a go at that. Uh, well, this light's beautiful now. I mean, you can see it on the GoPro, but Hopefully the pictures will show it because I've done a bracket, so I've got the, I've captured the whole dynamic range. Hopefully it's going to look lovely. Generally, when I go to the coast, when I shoot something, I know I've got something good. Whereas here, I'm not sure till I see it because maybe just because I don't do it enough, I need to get out a bit more maybe and do a bit more. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think there's a spectacular shot up here. Um, oh, light's amazing. The sky is now amazing. Wow. Beautiful, and just being here is beautiful, so who cares? This might not even turn out to be a vlog, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I'll post my images anyway, if I've got a good one. But, uh, but I'm gonna put the longer, the 55-200 on now, and just pick some of the bits out now, see how I go. Anyway, over and out.